What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Funtown RV Party in Dallas, Texas in the AT&T Stadium. So this is where the Cowboys play. And we're gonna take a look at this Brinkley Travel Trailer. Now this is the first Brinkley Travel Trailer I have reviewed. I know they've been out for a while now and I know that other YouTubers have reviewed these products, but this is the first one that I have an opportunity to step inside and I'm gonna try to make the best of it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating, relatively heavy, 11,495 pounds. It's going to have a cargo capacity of 1,965 pounds. It's going to have a dry weight of 9,470 pounds, and it's going to ride on twin 5,600-pound axles. Now, in my opinion, this is going to be absolutely something you would at least want a three-quarter ton truck to tow. I would not put this behind a half-ton truck ever. But this is an absolutely beautiful unit. I think it would pair very well to almost any three-quarter ton truck, at least a modern truck, with the tongue weight and towing capacity capable of towing this. Very cool. I love the front end of this. Check this out. They've done some really cool things with the graphics. The front cap being blacked out like that with a really cool dimensional logo up front. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I also like the upgraded coupler that's already welded on. So that's a Demco coupler. That is a heavy duty coupler that you typically see on things like dump trailers, and it's included. This also has the BAL LS 5.3. This is the auto leveling system from them as well. And really, really nice storage up here for your propane. So where most units just kind of have a plastic lid over them, these are actually protected in a really nice, this feels like aluminum, but it might be steel, but a very, very nice covered area complete with a cutout. So that's not just a sticker. A lot of manufacturers would probably just put a vinyl sticker here, but that's actually a cutout. And you actually have the ability to open this up from the side as well to access your propane. That is very cool. All right, up front here, we're gonna have our storage. Nice, thick, heavy bag of doors. I believe there could be a small drop frame here as well. Yeah, there is. So you can see the small drop frame right there. Let me get closer to it. And that's what's going to give you this enormous pass-through storage. I love that they put shower controls right here. You have two battery disconnects up here as well. It's a lot of space for a travel trailer. Nice thud to those baggage doors. You have two awnings here as well. A lot of the stuff you see here, you might see on higher-end fifth wheels, and you don't typically expect to see them on travel trailers. Has the Lippert screen defender already in place, plus the screen assist plus the thin shade. You have the Lippert solid steps on this unit with the Moride safety rail coming out. I love how they're mixing brands. They're not just trying to stick with one brand. They're going with whatever brands make the package that they're looking for. This is new. So Goodyear Wrangler tires. You don't typically see that on, on a travel trailer. If you do, it's more of an off-road inspired travel trailer. But these are definitely more of a road style Wrangler tire. This has the Lippert Road Armor suspension, heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, reinforced frame section below, nice rack and pinion slide out system. Okay, let's step inside of this Air 285. Now real quick, let's look at the price. So this has an MSRP of 89607 Discount of 4,653. So you can see that Brinkley units don't have that traditional discount you see with a lot of RVs of like 25, 30%. On these, you're seeing much smaller discounts, which means that the manufacturer isn't pricing the MSRP much higher than what they expect to sell the unit for. That's kind of a good thing. Now, hopefully the rest of the industry kind of takes note and they start pricing their units closer to what the sales price is, which should bring the prices down for a lot of units significantly. But you can see the show price of 84954 Okay, again, my first time in a Brinkley travel trailer. Let's see what I think about it. Has a really nice interior. Love the color tones. I love the fit and finish. Things are just a little different. They even curve the top of the cabinetry where it meets the roof here, but they don't do it over here. Soft closing cabinets. That's probably gonna drop down. Soft closing there, televator. This has, I don't know, this feels like it's thermofoil, but it's not, that's solid surface. 
Not soft closing drawers. Soft closing cabinets though. And over here, spot for your trash. As always, spot for your paper towels. Nice single basin stainless steel sink with a nice straining rack above it. Has that same copper adjustable sprayer. Has a smaller stove oven than I'm used to seeing on Brickley units. It's a three burner, but it is definitely on the smaller side of things. It would have been cool to just build this out like they build their super high-end units with the full-size four burner stove, the one that you see in, in again, their higher-end units. I like the little puck lighting that they put up here. Furion, let's see if that is convection. It is not standard residential microwave. Tons of prep space around here though. They have these really nice windows which have a blackout shade as well as a standard shade, but this one doesn't have the bottom shade. This one just has the blackout shade above it, whereas the rest of the windows I think are gonna have both, but we'll check that out in a second. Like the cabinets, I also like where they put these little rubber stoppers so they don't damage the wall or the handles themselves. Would have been nice to have adjustable shelves in here though. Nice soft closing cabinets up there. You have your Furion residential French door refrigerator. Over here, you have a really cool space. So you have an ottoman that you can use for extra storage and you also have space in here to make it kind of like a desk. That's a really, really nice space. These are the windows I was talking about. So you have the blackout, then you have the shade beneath it as well. Very nice, you don't need your traditional large valances on these types of windows. Over here, you have your freestanding booth dinette as well as the ability to adjust it. I believe you simply lift that up and you can raise or lower the table. You have some storage underneath. You have a cool little booth side on this side and then standard chairs on the other side. And then... So not all the windows have the shade. A lot of them just have the blackout portion of them. So these are both. So you can see the shade is on the bottom then you can separate the two like that, but this one only has the top blackout section, which isn't bad. It's not a bad setup, just something worth noting. Have your lighting up top, theater seating here, wireless charging in the center, more of those windows. Okay, so this is a nice pantry. I love the adjustable shelves. That is what I expect to see on the other side. They don't have to be this fancy, but it's always nice to have adjustable shelves, and I think these look really good. And this right here, Okay, so that's access to some of your water valves. So you can shut things off if you need to. That's one of the things they talk about with Brinkley units is having access to things that might need to be serviced or that you might need to get quick access to in the case of an emergency. More cabinet keys, more drawers. There's your monitor for your backup camera and your TST tire pressure monitoring system. Plus, it's a great spot for a coffee maker. More storage up there. Your controls are right in here. Slide out controls, Bluetooth connectivity. You can dim lights, very cool. You have a little coat hanger here as well. Good spot for it actually. All right, looking inside of the bathroom. Let's see if I can turn a light on in here. There we go. Love the one piece Encore shower stall with the light up top. You have your three head sprayer here with a wand. You have a spot up here for towels, toiletries, as well as robes right here. You have a lot of storage right here, and this actually leads you into storage that's also in the bedroom. No medicine cabinet, so you kind of have to split that or at least use these drawers down here. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Quite a bit of space in front of here, though. All right, coming around. Like this, good spot to hold towels or robes, whatever. Maybe you come out of the shower, you come in here, you put the robe up here while you get changed. I love the fact that they put a fireplace in here. I think that putting a fireplace in the bedroom is even more important than putting one in the living room. It adds a ton of ambience in here. Plus, you can use it as a heater if it gets really cold without having to heat up your entire RV. So I really, really love that. It seems small, but it's definitely something that stands out and it's a great item to have. TV mounted on the wall. This is that space that takes you into the bathroom as well. Some extra storage up top. Again, love the little rubber stoppers to keep things from hitting the wall too hard. Got plenty of wardrobe drawers here as well. Not soft closing, kind of wish they were. More windows, another window over here. You have your second AC unit up here. You have nice wardrobe storage there. 
more wardrobe storage right there. Queen size bed. Do not believe you can get a king size option in here because of how this is framed out. But it does look really nice. This is a great setup. Plus you have some pass through right there. If you have a CPAP, maybe you want to charge your phone, that's a great solution to be able to provide you easy access to stuff that you might have on you when you're going to bed. Cup of coffee, things like that. And then more storage, more drawers on this side. And you got cabinets up there. Okay, so I actually had to come back, so I'm going to put this into the video so you can see what they told me about this. So I always tell you guys with Brinkley, you, you are going to miss a couple nuggets if you don't know specifically what to look for. Check this out. So you lift up the bed. They padded this area right here so you can sit here, put your shoes on and everything. But look at this. They put a safe in the floor. Check that out. That is super, super cool. I really, really like what they did there. Plus, they put drawers on the side because they knew that the lighting would hit it from the side and it would be a lot easier to see what's in them. Very cool. Check out those struts. I've never seen that high quality of a strut used to lift up a bed in an RV. Super cool, though, huh? Definitely pays to uh, come back and check with the folks who are actually representing these units. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let's hop outside and quickly look at the outside of this unit. Okay, so we've already showed you quite a bit. We showed you the front area, the propane, the front storage, the fact that it has a drop frame, has electric auto leveling. You have your Lippert solid steps, you have your road armor suspension, Goodyear Wrangler tires, frameless windows, dual awnings. Let's see, greasable wet bolts, heavy duty shackle straps. And you have the ability to tow behind this. So this is likely going to have a 300 pound hitch capacity, 3000 pound tow capacity. I still don't recommend towing behind RVs. I don't recommend doing it, specifically towable RVs. Now, if you have a motorhome, I get that, but towing behind something like this, not a big fan of it. And I typically don't recommend doing it. You have an on-demand water heater system here. You have your camera system already in place. You have this nice ladder that's already attached to the back wall. So you don't have that on the go system that that you're starting to see a lot more of. Nice LED lighting. Looks like it has reverse lights on it as well. Something you don't see on a lot of RVs. Very nice setup. I don't think I need to go over here to show you, but let's see if we can squeeze through. 50 amp connection outside of your furnace. And then your wet bays right here. You have your Nautilus panel. You have electric gate valves on a travel trailer. You never see that. So that is really cool to see. Then you have your hose connections right there, complete with elbows already in place. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this thing. Leave a comment below. What do you guys think of this? What do you think of my review of this first Brinkley travel trailer I've had an opportunity to get in front of? Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.